Hi Dobby here, in this video I'll show you how to change the rear light bulbs in this 2003 Ford C-Max. So the first step is to remove the light lens from the car. To do this we need to remove two thumb screws and they are hidden behind two plastic covers. The first one being down at the bottom and the second one being higher up behind the seat belt cover. I'll show you the first one first, which we open up and just in this little area there is a thumb screw you can't really see it very well i'll show you a better look at that in a moment and then we move up to remove the one behind the seat belt so it just pops off as you can see and all we have to do is just do, undo the thumb screw as you see me doing here they are quite loose so not too bad really they can be a bit tight and some of you have to get pliers on these but this one's all right and yeah so we'll move on to the next one in just a moment so here's the second thumb screw. I put a bit of light on it so you can see it. It's quite tight in this gap, so I didn't really show you too much. It's basically the back of my hand you're seeing, so I've just skipped to the end. But as you can see, it's coming out now. And it's time to move on to getting the light lens out. So with both the thumb screws removed, the light will simply pop out of place with a gentle wiggle, as you see me doing here. Be careful not to pull it out too far, as the cable connected to the bulb holder. We don't want to damage this cable, as it supplies all the power to the lights. I use a small pocket pry bar just to pop under the end of the connector to pop it off. And you can see it pops off quite easily. Just have to be careful not to damage these connectors. Now to remove the bulb holder from the light lens, we need a Phillips screwdriver. And there are three screws in this. One in the middle, one on the left and one in the right, just down a little divot. So I start by removing the one in the middle. And then I move to the one on the left, as you can see me do. You come out quite easily, we're not very hard to get out of plastic. And when I move to the one in the far right, and that one's hidden down in a little plastic part, just down by this foam sill. Once you have that off, it's time to remove the bulb holder from the light lens. This simply just pops off, so you just grab it and give it a little gentle tug and it'll pop out. Be careful not to damage any of the bulbs when you're doing this, you don't want to break up a bulb inside your light holder. It does make it very tricky to get them out. Once you have the light bulb holder off, it's time to remove the bulbs themselves, which I'll show you in a moment. These bulbs are quite simple to remove. So starting with this top one, it is a 3.8T bulb. And all you have to do is simply push and twist and it will pop out as you see here. The next bulb on the line is a 5.8.1. And again it's simply removed with a twist as the other one did. And obviously the new bulb installed in the reverse of removing it so it's quite simple. Now we move on to another 3.8T bulb. Which again is just a push and a twist to remove and a push and a twist to reinstall. And the last bulb we have is a 5.6.6 bulb. And again that's just a push and a twist to remove and a push and a twist to reinstall. Now it's time to start putting the light thing back together. So simply pop the bulb holder back into the light lens. As you can see me doing here, just push it and pop it back into place. And to save a bit of time here, I've skipped some of the footage of me doing up the three screws that we removed earlier. So just see me getting one started here. And yeah, just simply do up them three screws and the light lens and the bulb holder will be back together. And then it's just a matter of popping it back in the car. So we'll do that bit next. The first step to reinstalling the light lens on the car is to reconnect the power cable that we just connected earlier. It simply just pushes back into the connector that we removed it from earlier, as you can see me doing here. After that, we need to line up the locating tabs on the light to get the, everything lined up nice and easily. And then all you have to do is just push it onto the back of the car and everything should just pop back into place nicely. It can be a bit tricky and you might have to do a couple of attempts to get it on. But as you can see, the light lens is now back on the car. Now it's time to reinstall the two thumb screws we removed earlier. Remembering that the bigger of the two thumb screws belongs on the bottom stud and the smaller of the two below belongs on the top stud. So these just simply screw in. I'm starting with the bottom one here. So simply just turn it clockwise and it'll tighten them up. And then we'll move up to the top one and do the same there. Just turn it clockwise and get it all nice and tight. You want to get these thumb screws fairly tight but don't go crazy, okay? You just need to get them cinched down nice and ready. And then we're moving on to putting the two plastic covers back on next. So we'll start with the one with the seat belt going through it first. This simply just pushes back up and pops into place. There's a few locating tabs. All you have to do is just push them in and pop it in. 
We're onto the final plastic cover now. All you have to do is line up the tabs along the bottom, push it in, and it'll all pop up. And that's how we change the rear lights in this Ford Focus C Max. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback? Let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.